better not be too late. We're not. Cos I'm not missing out on your new DOS 6. We won't. <laughs> <laughs> Defenders of Zog in the limited edition steel case with exclusive armor sets. Hey, Marcy. Hey, random kid who sometimes orders burgers from me. Marcy said hi to me. Do we have time for a burger? That's not on the timetable. McPain is a hero, man. Just like you. That's why you look amazing dressed as him on Game Clash. Nice. You're right. I do look good in anything, but something's missing. Shiny, shiny! So tell me that again. You basically invented Team Smarkle, so it's only right that you represent us on Game Clash. You can do this, buddy. You did something to your hair, didn't you? Ah! It's a bit less silver than I was expecting. Ah! <gasps> I mean, them. Um... Cool hair, Mo. Hey guys, I've got a big video game th one today. Makes a nice change. And there's only three hours of double loot, so once I start, I'm not stopping. So, like, I can't answer the door. You never answer the door. And if you find any bottles in my room that look a bit like lemonade, just leave them. As if I'm going to enter your room with a hazmat suit. <laughs> Hilarious. <sighs> Shamira broke up with Trevin, so I'm taking her to the new milkshake place to cheer her up. Ah, oh, you're a good friend. I am. And I really want a milkshake. I won't uh, disturb you either. I'm off to an exhibition with Risa. Oh. OK. Bye. Nice family breakfast. Wait, is this right? Sales Madness is tomorrow. What else could it mean? Why are we only finding out today? You do understand the concept of tomorrow, don't you? Will those controllers be on offer? Come back tomorrow and find out. Will the speakers? Come back tomorrow and find out. What about those minion mouse mats? Asking for a friend. Look, if I tell you that these, those and those won't be on offer, then you won't bother coming and you won't make an impulse buy on any of the awkward stuff that I need to shift. So they won't be on offer? Come back tomorrow and find out. We've got to tell the others about Sales Madness. We need to plan this down to the last detail. <sighs> Do we, though? This is it, guys. The big one. Sales Madness. I feel like Christmas has come early. I don't celebrate Christmas. Neither do I. But we all celebrate sales madness, and that has come early. No, it's the same weekend as last year. We just forgot about it. How? I know, right? We always smash sales madness. We smashed it once, last year. The only other time they actually ran it. Yeah, but what a want. I got my smelly pens for a whole 15% off. <laughs> OK. If I drive them too long, I get really weird dreams. But, bargain. And I got this T-shirt. The promotional T-shirt they were giving away for free. Biggest bargain of the lot. Sales mess. Great deal.
King Suleiman is a paranoid tyrant who wants to rule the other kings. I don't want to rule everyone. That's just a character. Nothing to do with how you really are. King Rumundu is a gentle giant. He speaks a strange elvish language. His land is covered in thick forest. And he carries a huge club. Mm, I have a question about mine. Princess Mia of the faraway land has been locked in a tower. Her only hope is to be rescued by the four kings. You don't see anything sexist about giving me no character at all except helpless princess waiting for the men to rescue her. What? You do have a character. Princess Leah is patient and excels at needlework. And who are you then? King Cedric is the wisest of all kings. The bravest, the kindest, and the most handsome. But his biggest weakness is that his intelligence makes it hard for anyone to keep up with him. And who is most character? Oh, you'd like to know, wouldn't you? King Lumen is erratic, reckless, and hot-headed. He charges into battle without giving it a thought, always on the hunt for glory. OK, my one is awesome! It will all make sense when we start playing. Together, we shall slay dragons, learn the ancient arts of magic, and unite the five kingdoms.